Hey everyone, Lucid here, and in today's video we're going to be reviewing Artilla by Lucky Luke, and I just want to say thanks to Lucky Luke for letting me review this. This is an amazing map, and I can't wait for the next seasons and the storyline to come out. It's going to be phenomenal. The next generation BRs. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, buddy, so we're here in Artilla with Lucky Luke. Wait, oh, he's up over there. So yeah, so I'm going to review in his new map, Artilla. And this was a show of his uh, mechanic. This is his level pass system. It's kind of like his own variation of the battle pass. It only happens in one session of creative mode. So you want to save your gold while you, where you can. While you can. And so each time you buy a level, you can rack up your levels. And you can even reset your levels, pick your colors, or you can even choose like which things you want for your level. Like level 10, 9, all these have different effects. Now, I'm going to jump into a portal before it's too late. I'm going to start off north. And I'm going straight down to trust it down. down. This is such an iconic POI. This has been a uh, fan favorite POI of Lucky of Lucky's maps. And it's actually like really good too. So no wonder it's fan favorite. So yeah, this really good sub suburb POI. <clears throat> a lot of people say it reminds them of Arcadia Acres from uh, Nova, Nova J's Arius. And it kind of does, seeing as like there's the vending machine stations, this uh, archway leading up to more houses, and the gas station. But honestly, in my opinion, it's a lot better than Arcadia Acres from Arius. And it has more variety, seeing as like there's actual uh, burger shop, and there's just more variety with the houses. And this POI is. 10 out of 10 for me. So I'm going to head over to the next POI, which is Slap Industries. <clears throat> uh, okay. This is actually, like, really cool. It's like a, like, honestly, this is, like, for, for like, people, many BR creators, they do outstandingly better than Fortnite themselves. Like, I don't know how, but they do outstandingly better than Fortnite themselves, and it's truly beautiful. Like, this is Slappy Shores, but 10 times better, and wow, like the building, like the way the buildings are made, like the all like ele elevation and stuff, like this, this dockyard over here, this is so cool, bro, <laughs> wow, oh yeah, this POI, is a definite 10 out of 10 for me, better than Slappy Shores, Probably should even get replaced by Slappy Shores if Epic did something like that where your community can build a POI. And then, you know, if you like landmarks, I won't go over those that much, but this is Mount Artilla. You can come up here. There's like the ski lift thing. Uh, there's like one you can go down here like with the fries. And then you can also, I believe, yep, it shoots you out. And now we're going to head to Calming Cabins. Wow, one of the best cabin POIs I've seen in a while. One of the best. And I love this like whole Fort Lake thing, like like, like right here, because Fort Lake had a lot of these. And like I just love the whole feel with this around the map. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really cool. You have like a whole power grid station also like, with this like leading up to there. I haven't seen anybody do that before, but it's still so cool. Like the uniqueness on this map is just impeccable. And uh <clears throat> So yeah, so there's like a few cabins, there's a hotel, oh wow, I didn't see this before. There's a hotel here, apparently. And then we have our parking lot for people to come into like the cabins and stay here. And then we have like a seating area, like a outdoor picnic area. And then more cabins, another seating area. Overall, just really some like, probably like, I'm pretty sure the smallest POI on the map, right here. If not, then I believe it's either Sun Sunny, uh, either Sunny Shacks. On to the next POI, which should be in Lost Kingdom, which is probably the biggest POI on the map. Like, second biggest POI is the uh, Slap Industries, but this one, trust me, this is huge. Look at all this and tell me that you wouldn't like. Like, this looks like you want to live here. Like, I, I would look you want to live here. Like, live in this map. Even though it might be just a ton of chaos within the next few months, it might be like hell unleashed on the island, but hey, I wouldn't mind. Uh, so yeah, 
probably the biggest PR on the map. It's like a, I wouldn't say a castle because they're not really a castle. It's like kind of a sanctum, I guess, sort of in, in my opinion. Because the, the way with it, like the way it is. Oh, and there's a vault down here. I didn't. I couldn't even explore half the POIs. Like I died so much, dude, dude. Like it's very laggy when it comes to like playing the map, but it's still fun. Very good experience. Okay, well, yeah, he's like some castles here. This is probably the best I've seen people do with the Citadel pieces and making like a fortress POI. And it's the biggest. Now going to the next POI, which is Rally Racetrack. Oh my God, I never seen these actually in game. Whoa, that's so sick. That is so sick. And I love his like the oh he's doing his waterfalls too. Like they're just very diverse. Like, like they just each of them goes down to like a little stream, like a little pond or whatever. So cool. Rally racetrack. <clears throat> really cool gas station right here. Looks really big. And then I'm pretty sure is this is this like actual restructure right here? So like you go like here, here. I'm seeing like all this. Okay, hold up. I'm trying to figure out like how far this racetrack actually goes instead of like going out of the POI. So I'm pretty sure it starts like over here. Let me see. If I can find a dirt bike. Because I'm pretty sure there's some over here. Yep, found them. I want to try out the racetrack. Professional move racetrack driver. I'm not sure this is the way I was supposed to go, but I'm taking this way either way. And then it's very like sw like you swerve a lot with this terrain. <clears throat> oh, that looks very unprofessional. Uh yeah. It's enough of this for now, even though this is very fun. Love racetrack for wise. I make one myself. Yeah, so uh that was really racetrack. I mean that was the racetrack, really racetrack. I didn't really go over the POI. Um cafe here, nice. And then there's like the chunker storage. And then we have like the what is this? What's this? Oh we got like a little mini gas station. And then there's a huge garage, like really huge, it was really cool actually. Uh then we have like this satellite dish wash tower thing. He really like, he really does like a really cool blend of Fortnite, Lucky's Royale, and Nova J, like Nova Royale remake stuff. Like, it's really such a good blend of all of these. Like, it's like if you converge all this map together, you have this. Like, this is just such a perfect blend of those maps. So, you also have like the seat, the uh, bleachers, and then you have all of this where you work on the cars. That is so, so cool. Like, I love that so much. Oh, well, yeah, now on to Rasper Resort, but. I just can't get over this train. This train style is so beautiful. Yo, this teepees. Cool. Rest of resort. Oh wait, there's actually houses over here. Oh, wow, there's like condos. Yeah, okay. So uh, I feel lucky he's here. I want to find him. Okay. Uh. All right, Lucky. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also that respawn mechanic too. Yeah, so there's this respawn. He has like a second life re re respawn mechanic. <clears throat> I can't show it off because that game will end and I don't want to die. And plus I only have like an hour to record this. So yeah, uh... Wow, like, even behind here still looks so amazing, like, I really can't get over this map, like, this map is just so amazing, like, this is really, like, what, what comes to show, like, what 1.0 LBRs can be if you just take your time. If you take your time, you have, like, a years, of, years of practice, which Lucky has had, and I haven't, but I'm trying. But yeah, so now we're gonna go to Sunny Shacks. Place there randomly, it's so cool. So yeah, Sunny Shacks, it's like a uh, wood, for, wooden fort to the village or whatever, or kind of reminds me of the Joneses actually, but better. A lot of these POIs remind me of Fortnite POIs, but better. 
and uh, it really goes to show Fortnite's kind of like I feel like when they release their POIs, they're good, but then when you see the community's POIs, they're ten times better. Just goes to show how much the community does for us. Whoa, I like I saw this cave in Lucky Stream, but I didn't actually see how big it was. It's such such a cool cave. And then there's like this. I didn't see this watchtower either. I didn't see like a lot of things. I like kept dying so much. That's fine though. Um, I'm glad to be viewing it either way. <clears throat> uh, that was every POI, and I'm kind of sad that it's over now. I went like blazing fast. But yeah, so that was every POI. Now for mechanics. He said there's going to be like a bow upgrade in the overview trailer. It's going to be like you can upgrade your bow. Aside from that, there's level pass, the respawn system, and turn, like the weather mechanics, and then there's, there's extra details and stuff. Not that many mechanics, but hey, it's season one, so why can't I complain? Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's like a vault somewhere, but I cannot find it right now. But yeah. Biomes, 10 out of 10, perfect, especially the snow biomes. Most snow biome is really beautiful. The autumn biome is cool, nice spin on the autumn biome because you probably wouldn't want to use like the other terrain, like the uh, shark cliff brown terrain or tan cliff terrain. Yeah, but yeah, really cool. I love everything about this map, and it is the best, like probably the best shark terrain map out there right now because most shark terrain BRs can't even compare to what this is. So yeah, I really appreciate Lucky Luke for letting me review his map. Phew, I almost under the video there in an accident. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed. That was my review of Artilla by Lucky Luke. Thank you, Lucky, for letting me review this. Make sure to like and subscribe because it's free. You can always change your mind. And it helps me out a ton within my YouTube journey. I love you all. Goodbye.